Welcome back to Farm and Tales Beginner Guides. What we're going to talk about today is staking your silos and your water towers to give you more food and water to feed a larger farm. So we're going to go over to just take a quick look at what we currently have in place as far as silo goes. Uh, you have a silo here, which is a common. Everybody that starts the game gets a common silo and a common water tower to start the game. So you don't need to purchase any NFTs for these. But what you can do, and I, I would suggest, is to upgrade your silos and water towers to a rare, most likely or preferably, uh, an epic because it's more, more efficient. If you take a look up here, you'll see that my food and water is 100 uh, spaces available. If you go ahead and upgrade to a rare and epic, it increases that, which is a lot, allows you to feed uh, and water more gardens at a lower rate. Because every time you fill these silos and the water towers, it costs you CBIT, which can get expensive if you have to do it over and over and over again. So what we're going to do is I have two rares, so I'm going to show you how to do that. In order to stake the, the, the rares, you go over to this circle by the silo and you click on E. So it's going to give you the options. When it shows empty, that means they're common or they call them base water tower and base silo. What you can put in there is uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a rare. So I'm going to click on this empty slot and then click on this water tower. Got to go through the authentication process. And there we go. We have it listed. And if you look up here, it increased from 100 to 150. It does not refill your water tower automatically. It just increases the capacity. We're going to do a similar thing with the food silo. I also have a rare here. The neat thing that you're going to see in game also is you see how there's in the NFT, there's two towers. You, it's going to upgrade here too. So we're going to go ahead and click on the empty slot and click on this and it's going to go ahead and add it in there and you saw it just automatically put it right there. Let's say I remove this, you're going to see this disappear. So in order to remove them, you just cl click on the remove button underneath. It'll authenticate and you see how it just removed it and it went back to 100. So let's go ahead and click on it again and it goes back up to 150. So now I have capacity for 150 of both of those and the one suggestion that I have is if you're playing and you see that it's right now 100 out of 150, don't refill it. Wait till you're all the way down to the bottom because if you look here, it's going to show you the cost. In order to refill your silo, it's going to cost you 5 CBIT. In order to refill your water tower, and this is critical, it costs 50 CBIT. So be aware that there is a difference in the pricing. So that's something that catches a lot of people as far as the CBIT goes. And there's another video out there that shows you how to stake SES to get CBIT. I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions or any other videos you'd like to see, go ahead and put them in the comments down below and have a great day.